away. My liquid foundation spilled all in my suitcase. This blow dryer is not working. What am I going to do with my hair for date night tonight? Does this sound familiar? Have either of these scenarios ever happened to you? Vacation is supposed to be fun and stress-free, right? I recently went on a trip to Hilton Head, South Carolina, and I found the perfect travel makeup. While we were there, I filmed a short get ready with me using these products. You know, finding the right makeup and the right products for travel can be a challenge. You want it to be durable, you want it to be compact, but also you want it to be versatile so you can have different makeup looks and you want to make sure that you've got different hair products in case the blow dryer doesn't work. So let's dive into the good stuff and stick around to see the perfect foundation that won't spill in your suitcase. So I'm in Hilton Head Island and the surrounding areas for a few days and I'm going to feature some of my favorite travel products and makeup items that are easy to take with you anytime you travel. Good morning. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put my makeup on. First of all, my name is Mimi. I want to welcome you to my channel. If this is the first time you have visited my channel, Welcome. What I'm going to do is link everything below. None of this is sponsored. I receive no benefit from sharing any of this, but just want to show you what works for me for travel. I do want to put my hair back and we can get started. I've got the MAC Prep and Prime Eyeshadow Primer. For my eyebrows, I brought the 3D, the Estee Lauder 3D Brow Pencil because it's so simple. I came up with a new brow hack. I shared it in a recent video and and I really like it so that your brows look natural. So right now in Hilton Head the PGA tour is going on. There are quite a few people here. And the powder. I always get this thing backwards. Brow setter. For my eyeshadow, I brought e.l.f. Little Travel. These are the cutest things. Berry Bad and Truffle. And I like the different shades in there, so I'm gonna start with Berry Bad. It's a little bit lighter shades. Shimmer. And I'm gonna take this brown. Line. And I'm going to take that pink shimmer. Blend everything. And from this one, I'm going to take the, this is the truffle. Just put that darker brown in the corner. that too. For my eyeliner, I've got the NYX Vivid Rich Always Onyx. Retractable. I really like this pencil because you can really get in tight right on the lash line and even right, right up underneath the lash line, right on the waterline. Just going to smooth out the eyeliner. And for my mascara, I brought Le Monsieur, I think it's called Le Monsieur Big. It's, it's actually from Lancome, from a gift I got not too long ago, and it's cute and little, and yet it's a good mascara. It's got a full-size brush on it, but it's a small mascara, so it's great for travel. Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift Under Eye Concealer. I do use a brush. This works really well to take away any redness and my little beauty blender. I brought my magnifying mirror that I love because you can use both sides of it. It's plastic, so it's great for travel. I've used it for years and I just love it because I'm not worried about it breaking. And it's got a nice, beautiful magnifying side that's pretty big and I need that, especially early in the morning. For my foundation, I am so excited. I just got this Laura Geller. I love Laura Geller. You know I love Laura Geller foundations, but this is Laura Geller Baked and Balanced. There's a little mirror on the top. Powder foundation 
that's great for travel. Isn't this the cutest thing? So it's got a little sponge on the top of it, but I'm gonna use a brush and there is the product in there. And it's so easy for travel. Once again, you don't have to worry about liquid spilling out. This doesn't cake up. This doesn't sit in fine lines. It's not real heavy looking, just very natural. And I love that. I have this cute little kabuki brush that's perfect. For my blush and bronzer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Duo Bronzer and Blush. Just gonna use my fingers. You really don't want it too low. And then the blush, I'm gonna use a brush for that. Just gonna blend everything in. This brush works great for blending too. And of course, what I love about Laura Geller powder foundation is you don't need powder. So I'm already ready for my lipstick, my lip color. For my lip color, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And this is Lip Cheat Lip Liner and Medium for the lipstick. There's the lip color. Love this color. Now I've got to do something with my hair, so we're going to head in the bathroom and I'm going to finish my hair. I love this little straightener. I have featured it in several videos. It is the Baby Lift Pro. Love this. And it comes with this bag that you can actually you can, it's a carrying case, but you can actually put this on there so it doesn't burn the counter. I'm gonna just run that through my hair and then I have, I love this pick, I've had this forever. You just throw it in your suitcase, you can throw it in your bag, and it works really well so I don't have to bring a big bulky brush. This works really well. Well, maybe just a few more places. <laughs> and that's it. I'm gonna head down and get some breakfast and start my day. Before you go, don't forget to share your favorite travel products in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already for more beauty tips and product recommendations. Until next time, safe travels, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.